Pretty basic English, so. Ambulance. What's this one? Xigua. Is it Xigua? And pumpkin. Pumpkin. What's it in Chinese? Welcome back to another episode. Today, I thought I would share our family's plan to teach multiple languages to Xiaomai. Before we jump in, let's be friends. Subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and share the video around if you find it useful. My family's situation is probably different than most of my viewers, as I'm a native English speaker, my wife is a native Chinese speaker, and my son will naturally learn these two languages. However, since he's in his prime language learning phase, we want to add a third language. I speak a little bit of Spanish, and my wife's interested in Spanish. So as a family, we've decided to start learning Spanish as a third language. But for the purposes of this video, I'll try to put myself in your shoes and assume that you want your child to learn English. The plan that we have to accomplish this, which are the tips I'm going to share, should work for any target language. When we came back to China last December, Xiao Mai was one year and 10 months old. He was speaking words and phrases, but probably 80% in English. In the seven months we've been back in China, his Chinese has skyrocketed past his English. He's been in preschool for four months now, and honestly, I think his Chinese is much better than mine. So you may be thinking that you only have a very basic level of English, so how can you possibly teach your child English? Well, two-year-olds have even more basic language abilities. In Shanghai, where I live, I've noticed a lot of Chinese parents walking with their children outside, speaking English to them. We're not going for instant results, we're just trying to get their language level up and utilize these prime language learning years. A good Chinese friend of ours has been speaking English to her son since he was born. What did you do yesterday? Yesterday, I played the Mario S and I say, and then they did to go away. I, I cried and cried. <laughs> English is a language of infinite accents. There are plenty of other tips I'm about to share with you to help get a more standard pronunciation if that's what you want. Our goal is to have my son speaking three languages by age six. As I said, Chinese and English will come very naturally, but Spanish will require a little more work. He's two and a half now, so we have three and a half years to accomplish our goal. So my first tip is called one parent, one language. This is an extremely common method if one parent is fluent in one language and the other parent is fluent in another language. You don't have to be a native level speaker. If you think you have enough English, maybe this is something you can try. My wife and I are not extremely strict with this rule, but I would say 90% of the time we speak to him in our respective native languages. The next tip is a pretty obvious one, apps. We recently bought an iPad for Xiaomai, and the only thing we're putting on there are educational apps. Of course, we need to limit the screen time, and we've been pretty good about 30 minutes a day, and only in the evening time. There's so many free apps and free games to learn language. Just try a bunch and see what the child likes. Apps are not only important for language, but also things like logic and math. One app that Xiaomai started using recently is called Huohua. It's a great interactive app with tons of games and challenges with a real live teacher. Kids can do it in small group classes according to their age. What are you playing, bud? I'm playing games. What's since he's been using it, I've noticed the teachers have incredible patience. They're really, really friendly. They stop for water breaks, potty breaks. The whole class is in Chinese. So if you're like me and you want your child to be stronger in their Mandarin abilities, as well as math and logic, it's not only educational, but a lot of fun. And being able to think and reason is very important at this stage in his development. The classes are 30 to 40 minutes, so a perfect length for him. And there are only four to six children per class, so it's a very good teacher to student ratio. The app also has a ton of other free learning resources like poetry and games. 
And if you want to try a class for free, you can click the link below and sign up. When you sign up, you get one free live stream class, as well as 43 free pre-recorded courses, including logic training, Chinese poetry, and many others. The schedule is also very flexible and you can sign up for a class that suits your schedule. Click the link below, try the free class, and let me know what you think about it. The next tip, music, music, music. Kids, especially my kid, love listening to music. He comes home after preschool and he's always singing these English songs, which I never taught him. Oh, McDonald has a fox. Yeah, yeah, yo. He knows the ABCs, Itsy Bitsy Spider, Bingo. But outside of that, all of his preschool is in Chinese. There are so many free resources on the internet. It just needs to be catchy, easy, and fun. YouTube Kids is a great app for everything kids related. See you later, take care, goodbye. And it's a great, fun way to practice his listening and speaking because he just repeats it all. My next tip, this is Xiao Mai's favorite thing, reading books. Children's books, especially in English, are often very, very basic. It's a Oxford reading tree. It's pretty easy to read. And it's got some really great pictures, which he loves, don't yeah. you? Do you yeah. like it? Yeah. So, like I said, even if you have very basic English, you should be able to read these aloud to your child. Even though my Spanish speaking is at a very, very low level, my pronunciation is actually not that bad. So I plan to read him some children's books in Spanish. But there are many other resources that he will be listening to and seeing and playing that will have native speakers. And if I find words and phrases in my target language, I can reinforce by saying what it means in the languages he already knows. This leads me to my next point, repeat all situations in all languages. So in our family, when my son says something in Chinese, I will say the same thing in English. Mmm, look at that. Watermelon. Watermelon. Yeah. Conversely, if he speaks English with my wife, she will repeat the situation in Chinese. That way he hears both of them in context right away. This is very, very key for us and it really, really works with our son. Again, if you have basic English, you can do this with your child when you're outside or inside, whatever the situation might be. The next tip, bilingual flashcards. Okay, what's this one? Watu ji. What is it in English? Excavator. Excavator. Da xiang. Da xiang. What's it in English? Elephant. Elephant. What's this one? Xigua. Is it xigua? It's pumpkin. Pumpkin. What's it in Chinese? Dengudu. Dengudu? Yeah. The next tip, which has been really, really big for my son, is multilingual toys. He's got several toys that speak to him in English and Chinese, including this table, which has interchangeable scenes. Altogether, there are hundreds of English and Chinese words. It also asks you questions, which you can respond to. It's really, really cool. Let's have a look. Michael. Michael. And Michael. Okay. Yellow shirt. Yep. You got it. You want to choose a new one? Ambulance. Can you tell daddy where the swimming pool is? You got it. My next tip might be a little more difficult for some people, but if you can, maybe you can find some friend groups of people speaking your target language. Or even better, try to make play dates for your kids so they can speak to other kids in the language you want them to learn. If your target language is English and you're not sure how to befriend that family, maybe you just invite them over to make dumplings. People rarely turn down good free food. The next tip. Be part of an online community. I have some dad WeChat groups that I've found very, very useful. My wife has some mom WeChat groups that she's found very, very useful. I'm also in a couple of Facebook groups which are focused on helping parents raise multilingual children. These chat groups are everywhere. You just have to find them, get involved, and meet some like-minded people. Share your struggles, share your tips. It's a win-win for everyone. And the last one is just have fun. Learning languages can be great fun and especially good for the mind, both for you and the child. Why not learn together? That's what my family is planning to do to learn Spanish. It won't necessarily be easy or really, really fast, but I do think it will be a lot of fun. So as you can see, there are so many ways to expose your children to a language that you want them to learn. Do you have any other tips that you'd like to share? Please leave us a message below. And if you're interested in checking out Huohua, don't forget 
to click that link below. You can get one free live stream class. If your child is a good Chinese speaker, check it out. You can get them going on math and logic. That's all I have for today. If we're not friends yet, please subscribe to my channel, leave a like, share the video, and as always, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. 我是麦克老师，下次再见。